Hey guys, Jared back. So we've got Sanage Mod 11 Android 4.4.1 loaded up on my Samsung Galaxy S4. Uh, this is actually available for various different devices as of today, so as usual, I'll have a link in the description below so you guys can go and download it, as well as a link to uh, a GX package so you can download that so you're not screwed when you flash the ROM. Uh, that said, you'll notice that since this is Android 4.4.1, or KitKat as it were, we don't have additional home screens right off the bat like we're used to with Sanage Mod 10.2 and so on. Um, you know, you'd have a bunch of extra home screens and things like that, so now it's just because of Android 4.4, we only have one home screen, we can go Go ahead long press and of course add them um, as we need to and add different uh, applications and widgets and things like that uh, jumping into the applications tray again because we have um, the gapps package you have all standard android 4.4 uh, gapps as you would imagine jumping into the camera application uh, because this is 4.4.1 we've got that new fix so everything seems to be working well with the uh, uh, focusing on things uh, at least better than it was before, I should say, anyways. Uh, we do also have video recording capabilities, so if I was to go ahead and tap the record button, as you can see, we're recording, no issues whatsoever, take pictures while recording the video, which is always a really, really welcomed feature. So everything there is working just fine. Um, <clears throat> we can go ahead and left pull down on the, or from the middle on the status bar, pull down the notification tray, jumps right into notifications, or from the right side, we can quit, get to the, uh, uh, quick tiles settings so jumping into the settings as we're on that topic uh, lock screen themes all the standard stuff you would expect nothing really too new here again uh, Sanage mod isn't trying to go overboard with customization options like AOKP which is actually one of the reasons I'm not exactly a huge fan of uh, AOKP so different you know customizations for status bar quick settings panels notification drawer and of course expand your desktop so lots of different um, options in here for you guys uh, moving on from there, do we do already check? Yeah, we checked all that stuff out. Um, sound, nothing really new you'll find in here, um, pretty much at all. Uh, play a sound when connecting or disconnecting the charger, I don't know. Again, I don't really run Sanage Mode all that much, so I don't know if that was a feature that was there before. Uh, jumping into display and lights, however, we do have something that's changed a little bit called cast screen, so obviously uh, mirroring your device's display to um, a compatible wireless TV or display of some sort, monitor, adaptive battery backlight to help you save battery life and of course we have different um, lighting uh, your notification light settings based on you know when your battery's low and when it's fully charged and so on um, and did we do buttons yet yes oh we've got buttons of course the power menu options so all the different power menu options that you would expect there your backlight controls um, so you can illuminate the buttons or you know check that Oops, untick it, and as you can see, the uh, backlights are now gone. Uh, so you can change the duration. I can put it all the way up to don't turn off, which I think's handy. Um, show action overflow, volume button wake, and uh, playback control, as well as uh, reorient volume buttons, depending on the orientation of your display. So that's cool. Um, and moving on from there, we still don't have quick access to the app ops, uh, which came since KitKat. Um, but uh, you know, there's different applications out there that you can download to get access to that uh, vibrator intensity as well as launch music application depending on when you plug in your headphones or auxiliary cable which is always really really handy and uh, moving on from there of course if you go into about phone and we have Android 4.4.1 and of course if you double t or was it one two three four five or I can't remember how many taps it takes on the build number there then that then expands upon performance as well as developer options so jumping into performance here everything is as it always has been uh, control over your your processor if you have a custom kernel installed you can overclock or downclock um, or underclock I should have said your IO scheduler and memory management and of course the 16-bit transparency options and jumping into developer options here we do have advanced reboot so if you wanted to tap that and then we long press our power menu, uh, power button of course, you have the reboot, recovery, and download mode. And we can, if you want to, select the runtime and decide to choose art if you really wanted to. Um, though I don't know if this ROM has been made to be completely compatible with art yet. Um, I know that other ROMs, uh, I can't remember, I think it was Cataclysm ROM, uh, was uh, um, claimed to be completely compatible with art. Uh, anyways, guys, um, it's working really, really well. This is still extremely early stages uh, of development for CM11, so uh, hang tight. If you want to, I yeah, you could probably pull it off as a daily driver though just be prepared for some issues you know maybe some calling or Bluetooth issues things like that I haven't looked um, too intensely into some of the bugs but it does seem to be acting quite stable so far uh, anyways guys that is it for this one pretty easy ROM to review um, I like it 
it's cool. It's Android 4.4.1. What can you not like? <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you like the video, click that likes button down below. And if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. That's it for now. Thanks for watching as always, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.